up against the less static but absolutely chaotic duo of ZB and Fake. Yeah, I am. I'm like trying to figure which team I eternally want to root for more. Because of course, no bias, no bias, no bias at all. But I, there's just pure silliness going on in the team of Fake and ZB. That's like. They're both very goofy players. They're both very talented players, but goofy nonetheless. Oh, yeah. Now, putting them together in the chaos that is Rivals Doubles, like, I can't say for certain if the, the favorites to win will be Penguin and uh, Kate, which I feel like on paper that should be the expectation. That's typically the expectation when it comes to doubles, and one of the most interesting kind of developments across the, the doubles meta of uh, Rivals throughout all these years is that... Like, Cake and Penguin have been teaming for as long as they have been competing. And so, whenever they're typically at an event, they're just like, usually the team to beat. Yet that you, makes sense. You can never really kind of encapsulate on just what a player like ZB is going to bring to the table, not only because he is usually a spur-of-the-moment type of player, but also in the prospect of doubles, Malo himself is going to have so much to do with consuming all of that space, especially due to ZB's more pension for the Big Bomb. And the Big Bomb is such a good one when it comes to occupying the space, as you go, but just because the finisher occupies anywhere between like a fourth to a solid third of the active space in the stage. It's especially dangerous once the offstage game comes in. And that's sure to be where a lot of the focus for red team will lie, given that they are going to want to just shuffle someone off where a lot of those combos are far more lethal than they normally would be. But the team has so much capacity for turning around a chaotic situation that I could still, at the end of it all, call it like even. Especially as you starting armor. Loving these chase downs when it comes to ZB just pushing with all of these cherry bombs, trying to consume as much space as possible, and more importantly, separate so that the longer recoveries are the only recovery for uh, characters like Absa and Forsberg. Because if you can separate and keep them off stage for just a long period of time, what Edelis is so good at is driving players across the screen, and that is a stock, and another one coming. A four stocks to three here is Red Team. Excellent way to follow up on the momentum, and I was a bit concerned about the separated 1v1s that you were detailing, because with the issues that a lot of the characters on screen deal with, their 1v1 coverage when it comes to the ledge, phenomenal. But if they have to split that effort, I feel like every character on the screen is using a lot of momentum besides Penguin, which will be able to cover a good amount of space just by the presence of Cloud alone, and the movement is so good with Obsa that she'll still be able to, say for instance, let a little of the pressure off and go right into as That's the a beauty of burst options, right? And you can see that kind of coming through with uh, in a similar vein with Bagel as the cherry bomb pops so high up, keeping the stock lead. And I mean, Bagel's got another 40, 50 percent coming with that armor online. Red team in a really solid position, though getting chipped away by Cake. A solid reset on that top platform of the merchant board. A little too short from saving. There's been a bunch of attempts from ZB to try to save Bagel while Bagel's just been on the hunt the entire game one. And I like the attempt to take advantage of Gun and Bomb to try to cover that space, but unlike with Absa, where she's able to cover that space with Cloud, the bomb is a lot more of a commitment at that point. You're letting go of a lot of that pressure! Just mistiming the parry. Penguin, she was on it. She was ready to let that parry rip, but a little too early, and that is a huge swing, though far from out of it. We are exceeding stock percentages. Cool. The issue, though, when you're coming to the percentages, though, because it. it's oh, the it numbers it. game. It's the numbers game. Like, yeah. 1v1 situation, realistically, it has not. But... You have to deal with both Bagel and ZB, and just the combo potential of any excuse you can have for like marking up Edelus as a bad character completely gets nullified with the presence of another character. Oh yeah. Oh. Let alone a character like Malo, who's able to cover so much space with projectile pressure. Yeah, you gotta. It, it's like you were talking about earlier with. Uh, Penguin utilizing things like upbeat just to zip and apply extra pressure from a bit distance away, from a good distance away. Bagel and ZB can both apply that those same tactics, which is why larger stages like Merchant Port seemed to favor them in the long run. And that's why we're 
We're changing out the horizontal, more for the vertical, but instantaneously, Red Team starts off in a fiery hit. Oh, both of them. I love how you start to bring the, uh, the size of Merchant, and we instantly go to what I would argue is the most claustrophobic stage available to Oh, us. yeah. Like, I mean, Treetop gets yeah. good on the smaller end when you look at the uh, West Zone action scene, but at the same time, the stage itself is so condensed, and the platform space is so close, and stray damage can link into something without you having to really think about it. <laughs> like, Italy and Forza alone are going to be covering so much space here. Just doing their own thing. You know, I guess that's what makes it a good counterpick then. So shout out to the red team. Or shout out to the blue team. You counterpick. Nice. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> they did the thing, but they're playing the video game. That's crazy. It, it, it's a lot of I don't know, I feel like in, in a situation like this, you gotta really just rely on your muscle memory and reactions. Oh yeah. Which like, mind you, all very well seasoned players and no one futzing about on secondary here, so you don't really have to worry about too much on that front. But also, situations can just turn on a dime. Which is also why like the heavy commitments from Bagel in this particular game are finding the most impressive because like he's just hard committing to these high coverages off stage, and it's working every time. Paying off dividends for Red Team. Yeah, a big forward tilt coming out on the part of ZB as Bagel does drop that stock, keeping things extraordinarily even. Huge back air as Penguin gets a chance to put one of these roll ins from the part of ZB. What's so devastating about Wow, that's a stock. What's so devastating about the mental stack of doubles is that there is so much chaos, and because of it, some easy, like, bread and butter options, or even just, like, some level zero stuff, like, hey, I want to get out of the corner, time to roll in. Like, you can get away with those in the moment just because you're worried about a whole other person and everything that they have been doing. Yeah, you know, it's... it's it's like the old adage of the bell curve when it comes to options. Like something that just oh, yes. works phenomenally at those earliest stages, all of a sudden working at those topmost stages. Like, this is it in practice. This is where the silly things thrive. <laughs> we saw the hammer come down. Armored up Bagel has, I mean, was surviving for quite a while, but I mean, Fourth Brent can apply so many quick hits. And then the reapply of the armor, just enough time was ZB able to occupy Cake. And now you've got a three stocks to one lead, even stronger than the game prior, and uh, no worse for wear. Yo, using the shards from the ice break off the strong attack to save ZB was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You got to arrive at the point of impact at all at the same time. And that, the only person left is a giant bear with a big old fist. Like, <laughs> that was just Bagel's game to run away with. Not even Red Team. Don't get me wrong. ZB nice with it. But that was Bagel's time to shine. Bring us over to the drop a pot for game three. I do think it's a better counter pick on the, uh, the half of the blue team. At least a little bit more lateral space to work with. And not as much opportunity for strike as just let himself to disaster. Oh, such a silly guy. He really is. <laughs> He's, like He's like such a, a funny dude. He's gonna just, <laughs> he takes out the gun. There's three bombs active at any given time. Sometimes he just dies because Penguin's nice with it. What's been so interesting to watch, and the reason of why I say such a thing, even though that it is true, uh, is the fact that like, Red Team just seems to be hard committing. Like, out of nowhere to these big swings, momentum pushes that can turn the table and turn the tides in mere moments. And sometimes it works out, sometimes you blow yourself up in the blast zone. But either way, making that decision early, often, and immediately is going to help in order to find those stocks when you really need them. Case in point, Bagel doing the same off the left-hand side, I think, giving it once again. And... Yep. Again, I feel like it fits the fact that the chaos of uh, no simply lending itself <laughs> to the gameplay of Red Team, but even managing to backfire as they thrive. It's not really slowing down, CB, though. He just wants to throw out the haymakers. No, we're as long as it connects. <laughs> as long as it connects. Red Team's out for connects. blood. They don't care really. if it's their own. <laughs> hey, man, we all bleed the same. <laughs> <laughs> who's to tell whose blood is whose? Listen. They signed up for this tournament. They understood the assignment. But it takes the most stocks wins, right? Oh, yeah. They don't need to read any the, further into it. The side bet is certainly real, but Penguin's out for the same type of damage. Cake just throwing himself into the fire despite all of this pressure. Yo. <laughs> stocks taken at the same time. A 3-0 finish on the part of ZB and Bagel. No strength attached. Complete 
dominance. Not even one player dropping all of their stocks. There's no share stocks needed, just in control yeah, no, throughout the entirety. Blood 